what if i'm browsing the instagram or watching some kind of a youtube video and i like something i can just take a screenshot over there just tap on the share button then select a telegram and in that i can select the bot and then send it to that and voila and that's it this thing will be saved in a common place for me i choose the notion over there but it could be anything it could be whatsapp it could be instagram it could be notion it could be google shit it could be anything this is the store over there let's consider the uh, ca scenario what if you find some kind of a file and then you want to send this file just go to the common group which you have in that just select that particular file and just send it and that's it the file will be saved to the drive and the drive link will be shared in the google sheet with all the metadata who is making this entry what is the type of file what is the size when it is created all the entry this is the entry which i need but it could be anything this workflow is highly customizable how you want let's dive in and see how we can make this video and stick to the end because there are so many different different hurdles which we are going to solve together in this video if you like this content please make sure to drop a like button so this is the workflow which i'm going to create today it starts with the telegram workflow to get the telegram trigger we can click on the plus icon we can search for telegram inside that we can go to the trigger part and over here we can select on message once it is selected now you can select whichever bot you have created if you don't know how to create the telegram bot watch this video in the i button it's a very simple process once you are there select the uh, bot you want and do the test step now that you have created the bot now there could be multiple people who want this same bot access there could be your family member it could be a ca person it could be a friends it could be a team member it could be anyone so we need to have a common space where we can insert this bot and everyone can chat through it and they can share the idea or thoughts whatever they are getting to do that what we can do we can come over here click on the new group then we can select the member we want so i'll select the members so as you can see i'm two members it is me and my one of my friend over here i can give a group name i can give like currently i can proceed ahead and uh, we can come over here and click on plus icon and we need to search for the bot which we created in my case it is kind of a ai employee i'll add this and so now as you can see the bot has been added now in the group part if you click over here you can see there are three people over here lakshit dhruv and ai employee over here this is the bot which i have created okay now make sure one thing go to bot father now click on uh, slash start inside this we can see multiple things over here so now what we need to do we need to edit our bot so for that we'll click on uh, slash my bot select the name of the bot which he has given in my case this is this one so now what i need to do i need to do go to bot setting now over here go to group privacy and make sure there should be written kind of turn on button should be written over here it means that it could be able to access the group message which we are getting okay so in my case it is working properly so if i go into the uh, group which we created i'll write here and send if i go to the workflow i'll start the test workflow we have got the message in this test bot group and the message is kind of here so it is working perfectly fine so now once you got the message now depending upon the use case we can divide the scenario so in my case there are three different scenarios which i am covering if the i got image then do this if i got text then do this if i got file then do this so now for the te text if i am getting it's a very simple scenario so if i am getting text just put the text inside the notion so how to do this for for that we need to indicate the notion first so for that go to the notion page wherever you are okay and you can go in the three top over here then click on the connection manage connection developer manage integration then create a new integration give the appropriate name over here it could be anatend demo 2 the workspace you can select whichever workspace is there okay then keep type as internal and logo if you want to add then make it save click on this configure integration setting this is the thing which we are looking for we can just click on show and just copy and in the user capability no user information and then save so once it is done once we have got this part over here you can go to the uh, workflow again then create new credential just paste that setting over here and just do the save and it turns green you are good to go this is this thing is done one more step we are forgetting i will be using the same account which i which i was saying earlier okay and don't forget to give the proper heading name over there okay one more step we are forgetting over here is that whenever we go to the notion once this is done now again we have to click on the three dot over here inside the connection now you can search for the um, name which you created which is inside the anatend you it is not showing over here because it's a different account but the name will show over here just click on that it means that now this integration has the access to this kind of page okay so once this is done now we can come again select the account now we need to append we need to append inside this so now we need to append the block inside this page part over there okay so we need this kind of a block id so how we'll get this block id so in this inside this reference so to give you a purpose how does this all thing look like in the workflow you can see in the resource we have five different thing it's a block database database page page and user okay so for user it's a very quite simple whichever user is there so for the database so this is kind of the uh, reference db is kind of a whole database over here okay and each entry inside this each row inside this is called as database page so as you can see we have new page it means database page 
okay so inside this page inside the database page now we can see we have this kind of whole page over here okay and this is the blog so this is kind of a whole page so uh, again for the for a reference this is the database page the single entry is the database page inside this now this is full page is known as single page over there the entry over here this kind of page is known as page and inside this page this single block now you can see this single block over here this is called a single block over here so now we need to add a block inside the database page so for that what we are doing we need to add a block okay and where we need to add the block this is kind of id which you are looking so this id you will get if you go to the block over here you can see this id over here we need to get this id just copy this id and paste this page this id over here and now you can select whichever type you want you want to add paragraph heading toggle to do and whatever you want to add i want to add the heading okay so and it could be rich text rich text means you can add the styling more styling it could be italic it could be bold it could be anything okay and what text you want so let me run in first so let me go over here start the trigger let me send a message i got the message i'll run this switch part so from the switch part we can see it has gone to the notion part over here inside notion we can see we are heading 3 and this message page we are getting so from this switch part we are just picking this part so inside the message we got this message i am just picking and pasting it over here okay and if i uh, test tap this now as we can see it has ran properly if i go to the reference part we can see we have got this hey part over here okay this was earlier added i'll show you how it was got added but as we can see this hey got properly added over here okay this is how you can add the message inside the block over there now we have done with the text part over there so now a main part is kind of image part when you will get any kind of a screenshot any idea anything just put that message inside the notion inside the proper part over there so if i show you the demo this is the uh, thing which is which got added using the image if i open it this is a toggle button we can see we have got a perfect image over there and we can see who added this message and kind of uh, image over here this is the toggle inside which we, we are adding and by default the node which we have inside anytime doesn't support this functionality so we have to access the uh, a notion api and add this part over here so for that what we need to do first we need to upload the file to the telegram so for that let's go inside this and upload the file so this is the file i'm adding uh, in the caption part we need to add what we want to see on the above message in the toggle part over there okay so for that let's see okay i will send this part inside this trigger let me run it now we can see we have got the image part over there so inside this switch what we need to do we need to check does this uh, photo part inside this telegram trigger we can see we have this photo uh, array over here does this array exist or not if exists then we need to send the output uh, output to the image part over there if you do the test step now you can see in the inside the image part we are getting this whole message so it means we have to go above over there so now we have got the message if you if you see over there in the switch part now in telegram you can see in the inside the caption whatever we have written we got the message over here so first now we have got the message and we got the file as well but if you see we have got just the file id now from this file id we need to download this file so for that we need to pass the file id over here so inside the telegram we can see photo has multiple photos photo 0 photo 1 photo 2 photo 3 now you might be having question but i send only one photo by default telegram what it does it sends the photo in multiple resolutions so you can see first photo 0 has the lowest resolution you can see with the 69 90 photo 1 is high little bit higher 213 320 320 photo 2 is higher than that higher than that higher than that you can see it sends the multiple resolution so whatever resolution you want you can select it so in my case i am selecting photo 2 as a resolution but i can select photo 1 photo 2 photo 3 according to my need okay so i can go to the plus icon over here inside telegram click on this get a file okay i am using same uh, node over there this is a uh, resources file operation is get and the file id if i do the test step so i can see i i can see the file over here okay it is working perfectly fine then don't forget to give the proper name over here so now once we have got this file so the notion whenever we want to add that uh, image over there it only accept the url part so somehow we need to convert this file into the url so that we can pa pass it over there okay so for that we need to uh, have some we need to use third party library where we can send this file and from there we can get this kind of url which we can use for the notion part okay so for that first we need to convert this file to the base64 so to do that we can come into plus icon we can write, search for extract now we need to search for this kind of move file to base64 we have got the file need to search for base64 once you select this 
now inside this normal thing everything will remain by default just do the test step and now you can see it has got converted into the base 64 once it is into the base 64 now we need to send this uh, to third party we are using over here kind of image bb so to go online search for in google image bb you can come over here do the kind of i have already done the login part now you can do the login so for that it's kind of a image bb slash login it is redirecting me but it will ask you to log in over there so once it is done so you will land in this page now go over there and go to the kind of uh, upgrade part inside upgrade if you go to the bottom you can see api access click on that now you can see your api key over here just copy this api key and there is kind of a curl command you can copy this curl command go to the event and workflow import curl and everything we populated over here you just need to enter the api key which we have got and in the body part you can you have to pass the uh, b64 data which we converted so once that is done, if we do the test step, then you can see we are got getting the data and over here we can see we have got the URL. If I copy this URL and paste it online, we can see we have got the same image which we have uploaded to the telegram. So once we get that image, now it's time to add inside the toggle part. So you can see we are adding this toggle where we are having this image over here. So for this thing, what we need to do, we need to add a HTTP node and we need to have a patch method. Okay. Now inside this, we can see we have this URL over here. So what is this URL? This URL tells that we are adding a block inside this page. Now this page ID, as I told you earlier, we are getting from you, whichever page we have. Okay. Add this page ID over here and the notion account, which we have created for the notion, uh, adding that part. Okay. And we need the header part. We need to send this version notion version 2020628. Okay. Inside the body part, this is the main code. Just copy paste this part over there. I'll be giving you this workflow so you can copy paste from there. What is this thing doing is that over here we are mentioning what message we should mention over here. So you can see the caption which we got from the telegram. Okay. And hyphen we are also mentioning who is sending this message over there. So from this telegram message only if you go to the telegram from here we can see that we have the first name and last name. We are just copy pasting and pasting over here. You can see first name and last name and it will be seen like this. Watch whatever caption we have first name last name and the children means what we want inside this so inside this we want an image block and which image in the image url which we generated from the image bb and when we execute this as you can see it has been executed if you go to the reference block we can see sending this workflow for reference lakshit ukani and if i open this voila it is properly seeing over here this is the workflow which i need this workflow is highly customizable in whatever format in whatever way you want you can make it over there okay so now once this is done we are completed with the two use case you might be asking why this is the text uh, text part over them i added text part if i want to add some heading over there let me show you the demo let me do one thing let me start the test workflow if i do the uh, active part i want to have to do the test workflow again again i have made it active so what i have done now i am writing adding reference from uh, youtube so i added this part if i am doing something let's say if i am doing uh, some part i am liking this thing i can come over here I can just take the screenshot then I can go to the um, telegram I can paste this image over here and we also get the acknowledgement that the task is getting completed so now if I go to the reference part now you can see this heading proper heading has been created adding reference from YouTube so there could be multiple reference from YouTube so and we get the image information over here so how cool is that so now we are done with the kind of a, this workflow is highly customizable if you're not using notion if you're using something else you can integrate that as well over here so I am using Notion, that's the reason I have shown the workflow over here, but you can change it accordingly. Okay. So now one, we are left with only one workflow, which is kind of file workflow. And this is amazing. So let's say you and your uh, CA are managing your finances. So you have to send your file again and again to CA. You, you can send in this email, WhatsApp, there are different platform, but let's make the one platform telegram. So now you and your CA in the same group. So you, you can also upload, CA can also upload, you can also upload as a file over there. And then you can create all the entries in single place. So you can see in the file storage, we have all the entries in a single place over here and whatever file if you want, we can just see and look it over there. How cool is that? And we also come to know when it was created, what was the file name, what was the file type and what was the file size. So we are going to make this part. Okay. So for that, first we need to send the file. So as you can see, we are passing the uh, uh, file over there. Let me send it. So instead of telegram, we can see we have got the file. So in this, we can see we have this document array over there. We can, as you can see, we have document object over here. So inside the switch part, we're checking, are we getting this object exist or not? If yes, then we'll be going through the file route. We'll do the test step. Once we have done this thing, now we need to download this file. So for that, the same approach, 
file resource get operation file id which we are getting in the download part over there file id just paste it over here test step now we have this file over here okay so now we need to upload this file to the drive how to uh, set up this credential for the drive i have made the recent video over there you can check this video it's a very small video around four minutes you will be able to knowing how you can connect any google credentials okay so now once that is done so now we need to upload the file so for that we'll come in the plus icon we'll search for drive inside drive we can search for kind of upload a file over there okay so once that is done so now we need to uh, have the data this is the same data name which is matching over there and we need to give a name whatever file name you want to give okay and this file name can come from if you go to the telegram trigger so for this file name we can get this file name from this kind of telegram trigger we can see in the document part we have file underscore name you can just drag and drop over here and we'll get the file name and where you want to put this file name so you can select it from the drive wherever you want my drive okay and this folder whichever folder you created so for my case i have created one edit and folder so this file will be uploaded uploaded over there if I, if I do test tab you can see the file has been uploaded if i go to if i go to my drive so this is the edit and folder and you can see this file has been uploaded just now okay so as you can see 341 am over here okay this has been uploaded just now so i can go back to the workflow and i have got all the information so now once you got the information now it's time to um, update this sheet so now what all information we want inside this we can see we have the person uploaded file name created at file type file size and drive link if i go to the workflow now we need to insert record so we, i can search for google sheet we have kind of append row in the sheet we'll select that now you can see append row now from which document you want to select and everything and we want to have map each column manually so we want to map each column manually so we have all the column inside the person uploaded if you go to the switch part inside switch we can see we have first name and last name we'll just uh, take this part over there we can see first name then space last name okay so for the file name from the same from the uh, which part we can see in the document we'll be having the file name okay so created add we'll get from the drive part from the drive out output we can see we have created time and we want a certain format so we have changed the format so we are uh, changing the format to dd mm yy then r and minutes okay so once that is done we want the file type so from the same part over here so from the file output only we can see we have file extension over here we'll drag and drop this part over here file size i have written a rule over there so you can see we have size over here but this is in byte so to convert into the uh, mb format so we divide by 1024 into 1024 and fix to two ratio there and mb okay and drive link we have the web view link over here so if you go above we can see we have web view link so which has the drive link over there once we do the test step so as you can see the record has been done so inside the file part we can see with the record is there and with the file part over there so as you can see how simple it is to make this workflow this is the workflow which i need which was my need but you can highly customize this uh, workflow in whatever format you want i hope you like the video please press the like button subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care